Volcanoes are pretty awesome to people in general, let alone artists, and in the late 1770s, there was a perfect storm where artists were around when Mount Vesuvius erupted. At the time, it was really fashionable for uh, young aristocratic men to go on these grand tours or essentially extended cultural holidays around um, Europe, especially Italy. Mount Vesuvius erupted and of course these aristocrats wanted to go and see closer. Artists would make pilgrimages there because diplomats wanted um, pictures of volcanoes. Romanticism was blossoming and the idea of personal experience in art was was, uh, was blossoming too. A couple of decades after Mount Vesuvius erupted, it was still popular to have oil paintings made of the volcano. But because of the Napoleonic Wars, English artists were sort of banned from going to Europe, so they couldn't really visit the source. And we notice that Joseph Wright of Derby, for example, made a number of artworks of Mount Vesuvius when he was in the UK. Turner produced a picture of Vesuvius when he wasn't there as well. So there would have been a bit of artistic license as to what some of these artists imagine and actually one particular painting is from a viewpoint where there's no way this artist would have survived. They're still fun to look at and great scientific documents for scientists actually to uh, learn more about what happened at the time because there are no other records. Next we're going to look at a renaissance building, the Sistine Chapel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and spread the word.